Good morning. Thanks for everyone for being here on this uh, somewhat hot but otherwise beautiful day. Um, the purpose of this ceremony is to open up the Echo Trail, which you can see most of right before you. It's a trail that runs down an old rail bed. Um, the real purpose for the ceremony is to introduce the town to the trail and to let people know that this resource is available. Any project like this is a great example of a positive endeavor by many, many people throughout the town. Um, on the board, I've got a list, but I've got some of the folks here listed. Um, Elaine Lazarus and Ken Parker worked initially to get this land purchased, funding for the trail. We got that money through a combination of Community Preservation Act monies that's through the town, through town meeting. And then as I said, we also had this grant to cover the lion's share of the money. The grant pro program through DCR, Department of Conservation and Resources and, and Recreation, is a um, matching grant, so you have to contribute. So having that CPC money, CPA money, allowed us to put the match in to do this. The other thing that, that shows up on the state bottom line, but is really where a lot of the quote unquote funding comes from is volunteer effort. And just a ton of people helped out working. Um, we were here Saturday. There used to be a very large dirt pile right there. I'm bad about this, but we should have taken a picture of that large dirt pile. It's no longer here and it's the parking lot looks great. This looked quite different on Saturday morning. Um, you know, and just the, the scouts worked on clearing stuff down there. If you want to go for a little bit longer walk down there, you'll see a bridge that was an Eagle Scout project by Cameron Hannon. Lots of effort. I, on these projects, I worked as the clerk of the works for it, but I couldn't do the project without the guys with the equipment, the construction guys. So Scott Curran from Homesite Designs, Hopkins and Homesite Designs, did a great job of you know, keeping me on the straight and narrow. So I tell him I want this and he said, well, that won't work, but if you do this, we can make it work. And been very flexible and willing to come in on pretty short notice and they had to clear a little snow in some of that de December time frame. But uh, again, made it work. Adam West is another person who helped out a lot. Adam, Scott had like the front part and Adam had the back part. Those guys worked together to split up how they were gonna do it. Trails Club, Hopkins and Trails Club, a lot of volunteer effort. Like I say, the Saturday effort was mostly Trails Club. Um, Jeff Barnes we'll walked down a little bit. You can see the sign down there. Jeff came to me and said, gee, is there any way to put a historic sign down to talk about what was here? There used to be, believe it or not, within I think 50, the last 50 years, 50, 60 years, there was a huge cutting shed over there for granite, um, just right over in the woods. and you look at that and trees everywhere and you go how could there have been a building here but there was um, Jeff helped us kind of keep that memory of what was really a pretty important aspect of Hopkins history troop four I mentioned Cameron again but he had a lot of folks that worked with him to put that bridge in prior to that they did a lot of clearing on the trail as well and finally because I'm probably forgetting some individual just the members of the community whether it's somebody who uses the trail and in, in doing that, you know, encourages other people to use the trail, whether it's folks at town meeting who vote for trails and vote for our continued push on this, or whether it's people who are walking the trails and pick up a stick and a piece of brush and move it off the side of the trail. After that big storm, we certainly did some clearing, but there was a lot of other clearly volunteer clearing, whether it's the neighbors here or whoever it was. So. Just want to say the members of the community on general in general have been great as far as helping this out with that i uh, wanted to keep this ceremony somewhat short given the uh given the weather and i'll have elaine do the ribbon cutting i just also wanted to thank the residents and the volunteers especially the abutting residents who have to put up with a bit of construction activity um, your patience is appreciated as well all right with that we welcome everybody to the trail Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.